thanks for staying with us. So as you know, it's our Celebrity Friday, and in the studio with us is a Nigerian film director, <laughs> film actor, lawyer, producer, with countless blockbuster movies under his belt. Known for his gifted, energetic, and highly influential in the Nigerian film industry, he's one of the, he's the son of a veteran actor, Adebayo Salami. He recently produced the Talk of the Town movie, Jagun Jagun. Welcome with us, Femi Adebayo in the baby. Thank you very I much. I think for the having. first few days was 2.1 million viewers. You said I, mean, I just watched on Netflix. Congratulations! Thank you so the much. Movie everybody's talking about Jago Jago, and I'm thinking, yeah. oh God, from Nigeria. <laughs> <laughs> Nigeria. Yeah. So I mean, the very first question many Nigerians always want to know concerning when the blockbuster comes out is, what inspired it? What is that? Um, but I think that there's a clip of it for those of you that have not even. Turn on your Netflix. I don't know if you know what she's supposed Just watch this smoking <laughs> sustain with us. Well done, well done, well done. So everybody's asking about the movie. And I have to ask you, what inspired it and who wrote the script? Like, who thought of Agemo Gundiji? <laughs> like, who put that script <laughs> together? Okay, um, that's two questions in one. Yes. <laughs> All right, so um, what inspired Jagun Jagun? It's the the participation of the youth in the society. All right, so there, there have been a lot of um, youth accusing the government of blah, blah, blah. It's actually a social message, you know, and um, I felt, okay, we, the youth, need to talk to ourselves first. All right, so for these people in power that we're talking about mm. cannot perpetrate any evil, so-called evil, without mm. using the youth. Mm. All right, so... Most times the youth are used as the instrument for destruction. Mm -hmm. So I felt, okay, let's take the bull by the horn. All right, let's talk to the youth. Stop allowing yourselves to be used as weapons or instruments of destruction. So if, if you resist from you know, allowing yourself to be used as a weapon, then let's see how they can use weapons for destruction. So that inspired so me passing that message, you know, and I, and I thought of passing it in a very unique way, mm -hmm. you know, and at the same time wanting to set the beauty of Yoruba culture to the world. Mm. So, so I now merged the two together mm. to come up with the Agun Jagun. You see, they are waiting for me to ask you a question. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm a huge fan. See, especially your, the whole movie was great. Thank you. But you, I said, I know you. I mean, I know of you. I've seen you in movies. I've met you. I think you've been here before. But I did not recognize you. I just kept thinking, this person looks familiar, <laughs> familiar you know? He looks familiar. I could not find you in the character. You embodied that character so well. Was he a mythical character? Was it fictional? Or is it a character that has been part of the Yoruba culture? And lastly, how did you get him out of your system to come back to you? <laughs> well, um, the look is, of course, fictional, mm. you know, and... Um, I'll give um, the accolades to the makeup artist, Akim, mm. in fact, okay. So I have a picture in my head as a producer, mm. you know, and, you know, it's a different thing you have a picture and mm, being lucky to get somebody who can bring out that picture you have in your head. So Akim brought it out, you know, and I was like, exactly. No, he brought the makeup. I'm talking of the character. <laughs> so the character, the you know, <laughs> well, two things, right? Yeah. I... As an actor, of course, you have to be versatile. So, and I know of a man, you know, that mm. is very wicked mm. back in a particular village. So the son is a little bit close to me. Okay. So the father does this all, all, all the time. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Wow. So I asked him, ah, kill his daddy, man. Why is your father always doing this? And he said to me, you're back. That means the, the charms he has is mm. always, you know, yeah. Taunting him. Yes. Yeah. Mm. So he does that. He doesn't even know he does oh, it. So you not adopted so money, that? Yeah. Fantastic. Okay. You did not miss I a bit. <laughs> you are constantly twitching. Yeah. Let me say Damala, please. Yes. Also on the characterization, because I was particularly inspired by the characters, and I was actually coming to that, you know, <laughs> because I'm, I'm interested in how long it took you to get out of character, because... How, how many months did you shoot for? We shot for 45 days. 45 days. So 45 <gasps> days no. doing this. So yeah. how did you get out of character? Number Only. one. Then number two, I saw, uh, is it uh, Bogumi? You know, his character was always, you know, shoving his <laughs> back like this. Another, it kind of embodied, yeah. you know, 
um, his person, and also um, Latif Adedemeji. That's a botija. And notice that he was more buffed, like his yeah, hands yeah, were right. bigger. Yeah, did he work out? Yeah, did, yeah, he, he, did. did yeah. he have to We were fully prepared body? to shoot Jagun Jagun. So oh, wow. three months to the project, we all yeah. you know, went back to the gym. Oh, wow. Know, and while we were still filming, we had trainings going right. on and like that. So. OK, so the Yoruba names were the things for me, like <laughs> Bogumi. What's he done? You're on your book. You're on your book. He told me. Someone was like, <laughs> What? <laughs> He's big. You know why? When you think that Yorubans are coming up with creative, godly names, these names had always been there. Yeah. And it was interesting the way you said showcasing um, the Nigerian our culture. I loved the showcasing of the culture. Honestly, I was just so, I enjoyed the story so much. I didn't even really get that your story. I did not even know that there was a political oh, undertone, oh. Right? Oh. a lesson about, you know, um, children and people being used. Yes, you highlight, um, they highlighted it. My, my question to you, <clears throat> because when we talk about um, movies showing um, our culture and going back in history and depicting what, what people do, I noticed that when we're doing this movie, you brought in a lot of our old... Um, veteran. Veteran, yeah. veteran actors, and um, it was interesting to see them play. Did you feel the, did you feel compelled to use them, uh, or did you want to highlight? In I felt you could have been an opportunity to highlight a really new face, new but generation. we saw a lot of our old guys. We we're happy to see them, but was there any thought behind? I want to showcase the previ the, the guys that veterans. have been there the since. Veterans. Mm. Okay, so I I actually used um, one stone to kill two birds mm -hmm. <laughs> because. I actually want I want to satisfy my inner conscience that yeah. this I mean these legends are you know Very still active. Yeah. Mm. Mm. The relevancy of them I yeah. I Knowledge. wish yeah they should you know continue to be relevant. Yeah. That's the first one. Then secondly, when you have them on set like that, you can never throw out the fact that they would contribute. Absolutely. Mm. So they've got the experience. Mm. You know, I'll yes. give that to my father. You know, I didn't need to talk about that. Yeah, so. daddy would always would always give you, you no know, back. You know, we are talking about culture, and there's yes. little we know. We mm. can't know, yeah, what yeah. they know. So that is the reason I will always have them on my side. So, um, for I, I mentioned it. I think the um, the, the father, your your yeah. your your father, and oh. I said one of the things I loved about it is that you know, generation to generation, your your father is alive to see. I have dedicated my life to this thing. Mm. And then my son also put his life into it. And then he's able to see the success of his son. That part gives me goosebumps. Legacy. Yeah. And how are you intending to pass it on like to the next generation of um children? Adib Salami. Salami's <laughs> next generation. Well, I think the man is just lucky. <laughs> 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 yeah, he's just a very lucky man because. Okay, my children, I don't see any one of them oh. thinking in this mm. line. They only say, oh, daddy, you acted well. She won't act, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you know. So I think it's just lucky, and it's more of um, what we Yoruba would call destiny. Mm. So I call it, you better as it. Yeah. I, if any of my children eventually kiss it up, fine. If they don't, well. My mm. husband loves <laughs> that movie. He sends me eight questions. <laughs> You know, he he's co-hosting. Co <laughs> because Brown said, please ask him, who exactly created Agemo? Mm. And why can they take that Agemo mask to Nike Art Gallery? Because it has to become a monumental auction <laughs> or be auctioned for something. So mm. he feels that, that I mask, love that. the yeah. Agemo mask for him, feels, he feels it's something that should actually be treasured. Yeah. Mm. Who created the, 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 the character. that character and what do you plan to do with the mask? Okay, I created the character. Mm. You know, I was actually looking for the strongest suspense that could ever be in any Nigerian movie. Mm. And it was, so I thought of um, Agemo. That was a know. twist of, yeah. of <laughs> twists. And of course, um, <laughs> the writer did, a, I mean, did justice to, to the... Then, of course, I have to give it to Neya Kimalayo because he did the effects. Special effects. The special <laughs> effects. So the idea of the fires and all that was his and idea. And the lit mm. eyes. And the lit eyes. Yeah. <laughs> so it was... It, Teamwork. Was mm -hmm. more teamwork. Yeah, so of course, when you look at that movie, like you also um, alluded to earlier, a lot of work happened before production. That village that you were in, mm. was it already existing? Did you build it? Where is it? All the hills and all. Was that cinematography? Was that With real? <laughs> you know, it was, 
it was it was beautiful. Yeah. That, that, that's a whole set yes. that was created, right? Yeah. They were real ills. Okay, we constructed from the scratch. It was a bush we cleared, mm -hmm. you know, wow. and it's in your town, okay. right in your state. Okay, so we constructed every bit of the set you saw in that movie. Mm. Yeah, Tunja Fly, they have director constructed, I you know. Ask yeah, you Tunja. Cap Village. Yeah. yeah. No, no, that is Cap Village. Cap Village is for Kunle Afolayan. Mm. Okay. Tunja Afolayan is the hard director. Oh. They are not even families. They need <laughs> just those. have the same, name, yeah. the same industry. So we constructed everything you saw. Oh, wow. Everything. Wow. And that so, took us like two months before shoot. Mm -hmm. We were constructing back to back. Of course, we for had. For those of us that love. Call out on day, we were very disappointed. Ah. How can you? How can you give <laughs> him ten minutes? Well, of well, even not less, ten minutes, okay. five minutes mm. of your, something like a in whole call out. Like, you now give him when that cut his hand off, now disappeared. <laughs> what happened to him? Well, I hope he's coming back in part two. <laughs> is there part two? You now said that he's coming back in part two. He's coming back in five seconds. You now think they're not be part two? They better be part two. Ah, it's a series. Yeah, because if I'm just talking about five seconds and I'm not go, what is that? We need even me and even understand that last part. Because I know that major actor came in. Yes, I'm like, who did you? The audacity to use big actors like that for five seconds. Who are you? Who are you? You see, he brings it for five seconds. Well, um, just like you saw it, okay, the, the coming of the Bahim Chatter would automatically I mean, give birth so to, just, of yeah. course, a sequel, you know. And you ca he called the name of Ubun Digi twice. Mm. In Yoruba land, but you thought that you should answer now. Mm. So I think. Oh. Part two. Oh. <laughs> so the third time. He comes back. <laughs> so what's going to happen to the soundtrack? Um, I'm asking my husband's questions. So. Please, he said, please, we need a soundtrack and compilation of Jagun Jagun. Okay. Yeah. Like that. You planning to do that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, pretty soon it's going to be on iTunes. Uh, ah. Yeah, so so many people love the soundtrack. Uh, Tolu about did a great job, you know, and... Mm. Uh, so we are going to do that. I need to Let's ask. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Sorry. You don't wear a mask. You know she's the non-Yoruba. <laughs> <She's laughs> <a> <laughs> and I wanted to ask a non... Yes, for please. a lot of the non-Yoruba speakers. Yes. Mm. So we had to make do with the subtitle. Okay. But I was telling them that there was a particular scene where Latif was going on and on. Veins were showing. He was bulging. Then subtitle say, I shot myself in the foot. <laughs> he said, all that Yoruba. <laughs> just these two <laughs> words. You know. So, like, is there a way? Is, or is it just normal there is there a way we can grab the sure, essence yes. of this our local languages and interpret them in such a way that people understand the depth of what has been said i doubt it. we lose the beauty hmm. your your language is so beautiful you know we talk more with proverbs you know and then um, in the bit of trying to get the exact you know i mean meaning you know you might actually lose the beauty you can only try to say okay this is what this means but the exact words I'm a loser. You lose the beauty. Wow. Mm. So we take Ade and I come to you. Talk. Okay. I come to them. Okay. Ade from London. Thanks for calling, Ade. Yeah. Good morning. Morning. Uh, good morning. Three questions. Three. Question. Three. <laughs> three. Yeah, Go ahead. No, number one. When is the ship coming to London? Yeah. Yeah. With, with, with the cars I'm seeing there. How many cars does it kill every day? <laughs> to feed them. How much? How much? Please. Oh, that's a good question. Yeah. Thank you, Ade. How much have you spent on feeding? How much have you, have you, how much have you brought in? And when are you coming? How much has this spent? It didn't cost me. Yeah. That was what it asked. Yeah, uh, okay, I want to know how much you spent. <laughs> <laughs> how much? Yes, yeah, so. Are, are the dollars Are you winning? Well, we Is it big? Well, it's worth it, actually. Oh, okay, I'm good. I'm so happy. That's good. Mm -hmm. It deserves. You've, you've covered your cost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Good, good, good. You good. Said you also but the houses and is that you had to raise money. Yeah, 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 yeah. So while I was producing and then uh, you got a point, you know, sometimes they, you get out of your budget when you produce, and especially when the creative mind comes in. So many mm. things were not in the script and we got on set and we, we have to do this. And of course, you know, money. make your budget go higher. So, and I didn't want to go to the bank mm. okay. because I actually did not know when I'm going to sell it. So the oh. trust would keep rolling if I go to the bank. I said, okay, yeah. I'm just sell some of my properties away. And I did, oh. and of course, I think I can get like buy buy. three of what I have. Wow. Oh, yeah. I'm so happy. I'm so excited. So, yeah, fantastic. To oh, yeah, that is honestly. Good. I don't know when I'm coming to London yet. So, but yeah, it's a, a lot of work question, to be another question about the. Um, oh, how much question, the cost? No, the caller. Wait, I have a caller again. <laughs> Elda Dare from Kaduna. Thanks for calling. Yeah, good 
morning. Good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. And to send me a big battle. Good morning, sir. Thank you so much, sir. That is a wonderful one. Thank you. I'm one of the big fans here in Katuna. Thank you. I just want to ask, with this huge full cost, how were you able to ferry all those people to the location? And be able to take care of them. Follow up to the question from London. Good morning. Yeah, thank you so much. Well, those are the things that actually, you know, skyrocketed our budget. You know, because whenever I was planning, the fuel was still, you know, reasonable. But mm. at the point when the fuel, I was like, "Shall I postpone and shoot you?" Right? <laughs> uh, aren't we going to postpone this? But eventually, so, okay, let's go into it. You know, so those are the things that we face. Those are the things that made me sell some <laughs> So um, one, one of the things I was really happy, another thing I was happy about, aside from the legacy part, was the fact that we're seeing the old Nollywood getting a bit out of the new Nollywood. What I mean by old Nollywood is you've been in the industry for years. He's mm. old Nollywood. He's old. You are old Nollywood. <laughs> yes, old like Nollywood. it or not. Yes, you might not be as old as your Mid father, old. but you are <laughs> part of the old Nollywood and you're able to get into the new industry. But the question for me is the fund. How, when, when we ask how much does it cost, I read your interview where you said, oh, this, it costs this um, a lot of money, but it doesn't help investors to know. Because if I want to invest and I've heard... When you watch um, Hollywood movies, they'll tell you uh, this was the entire this blockbuster cost this amount of yeah. money. Thirty percent went to um, overhead um, post production. Yeah, they break about it 30, down. 50%. They do a breakdown. So an investor, I'm into real estate. I can say if I put my money into a film village, mm. this is the kind of income I can get because they are paying this much money on setting up this right. set part time. How how do you think one funding entertainments can be done better so you can get a loan that will not be having interest and two can more entertainers be more um, detailed about the budget that goes into the movie? Anyway, it's our practice. It's our practice uh, in this part of the world not to be precise mm -hmm. about uh, yeah. what the cost on the fund is. Mm -hmm. so, you know, maybe we are not. Um, maybe we are not sure of the safety mm. you know. okay. uh, so okay. most mm. most people keep those information so that mm. is the practice mm. Mm. that makes sense i have one Go ahead. question when i saw the bushes i said you must have paid for security but because oh, definitely. boko haram definitely. that was one <laughs> that was so a major that's one. another yeah. had those people on yeah. set throughout yes mm. very true okay. that was a major one security took a junk Part of, of the, the money. Yeah, I mm -hmm. about that. Okay, I have a large Bugatti from <laughs> Koyi. <laughs> nice. Uh, uh, I'll first of all say, Assalamu alaikum, everyone. Alaikum, Salam, sir. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. 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 Good and continue to make yeah. Alaji. Oh, I think we lost Alaji. Lost Alaji. Nima yeah. has sent a question to the group uh -uh. saying that what is his take? Nima says I should greet you. Okay. Uh, she's one of the ladies of you. She said that what is his take on Muslim critics who question his faith because of the movie? Also, Ilori has been a conflict bed. He is from Ilori. What is his take on the Isheshe Day conflict? Isheshe. <laughs> okay, well, okay, well, let me, let me drop that one. Let's let, they just answer the question concerning the Muslim yeah. the issue with the Muslim. Yeah, yeah. Well, I think they do not just understand uh, religion is a part of um, your belief. You know, mm. this is what I do for a living. Exactly. It's my job. Mm. It's totally different from my belief. Yeah. Between mm. me and my God. So okay. I believe they just do not understand. You know, so it's totally different. I've played roles of pastors. <laughs> movies. Right, yes. <clears throat> yeah. So <laughs> why are they not coming out then? I feel this is the success of the project that is making them talk. Oh, yeah. good. nice. I like so, that. Go ahead. It looks like there's a rave in the Yoruba movie industry now to, you know, put this epic narrative out there. We've mm. seen, uh, you know, Jago Jago. And before then, King we had Kings. King of Things, Orisha, Kesari, you Anikulako. know. Exactly. And Nikulako. Mm. What is happening? What triggered that reawakening? Well, for me, I, I just felt, okay, since when I was young, we've been watching Indian films, mm -hmm. you know, and they did not stop. Mm -hmm. they, I mean, they produced those films in their language, and so they forced their language on us. So why would Yoruba be an exception? Mm -hmm. 
Ah, so I, 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 <laughs> so I studied it and I realized that they do those films on a big scale. Yeah. So okay. I said, okay, let me just go back and do my own Yoruba film on a big mm. scale. So. And I like that also because, you know, we, we've gotten to a point where we say, oh, Yoruba, Nollywood, Igbo, Nollywood, this Nollywood. You know, we put them in boxes. But what your film has done and many of the ones that you just mentioned is you've put it... It's now. It's just a movie. Yeah. It's not a Yoruba movie. Mm -hmm. It's not. You know. It's a movie that can be enjoyed by everyone, mm. no matter your language and anywhere in the world. So. That, and that's how it's supposed to be. Oh, you didn't answer my question about having an entertainment um, bank, having a um, funding. funding. Yeah, funding. Okay. How how do you believe funding for movie industry should be could be could be structured better? Yeah. That would be easy for. Yeah. Okay, so I know of some banks that have put some, I mean, structures into place, mm. you know, but I think it is not really friendly enough, mm. you know, and I know BOI is doing something too. Mm. So by now, I think they should revisit their policies okay. to make it more friendly for um, content mm -hmm. creators, mm -hmm. you know, so I, I know a lot of people because now it's an extremely lucrative business. Mm. That's the truth, you know, that is the truth. With the piracy, you can still, you know, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. make some uh, money. Make some money. Mm. Ah, that so. piracy part, I was shocked. Me, I was saying, I've not had time to watch. That's how somebody said, ah, I'm watching it on my phone. I say, oh. not, not, not even phone as per Netflix on the phone. Like, they are downloaded. Yeah, that's and really I was bad. surprised. And those are our campaigns. That it's In the first the best, few days. The only way you can encourage okay. us is watch from the streamer, the yeah. authorized streamer. So that you get, you get watch the Watch that, that one. If you don't go to pirated sites. Yeah. yeah. That was, that, that's unfair to Nigerians. Yeah, yeah, it's very unfair. Yeah. OK, um, you said something that a Latif Adedimiji had broken his leg during the production. Yeah. A lot of laughing things that happened. Tell us a bit of that experience again. OK, so like I said, um, Latif started training, like, Three months before the location, oh. you know, so we, we did a lot of trainings for the choreograph, um, choreograph fights, mm -hmm. you know. So this particular scene is his first scene in this movie. Oh, mm -hmm. where he was walking in the When bush. he was walking, you know, and he just took a step and he broke his leg. Oh, man. I was like, ah. he didn't water. even water. jump. <laughs> That's why he they didn't shot jump, him. He didn't do anything. Yeah. The guy cried. Aww. Like, I've worked so hard for mm -hmm. this Just project. So this does it mean that you are going to replace me? Aww. And I said to him, don't worry. Whatever it is, you are going to play this role. Uh, we for you so go. we did a lot of body doubles, you know. Oh, we have really? to wait. I thought I did. There was one part yeah. I thought I noticed. Oh, I body <laughs> never. I, I promise oh, yeah, you. So. I promise oh, yeah, you. The part? fighting part. Which fighting part? The fighting part. It's where, uh, where, yes, yes, where he killed. I noticed. I noticed. She's right. Though. I know. I can't look at it again. So now let me put that body double. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's very, it's very, it's very. Yeah. Yeah. So I'll go watch it. Of body doubles, you know, and of course, all these things, we, we have a documentary for the film. Oh, so, that's nice. And that's coming up, I mean, pretty soon. So all, all this we will reveal. It makes it interesting how the mm -hmm. film was made, you know, what we went through and all that. Well done. So the most important thing is that we were able to make you believe. This is what happened. Yes. Okay. yes. So I have a question again. <laughs> Mr. Brown. Yes, Brown. <laughs> <laughs> then they should please find a way to invoke and transfer that Agemo spirit into <laughs> Botija <Gottige. laughs> so that he will become a badass in the second part chapter. He's writing for two. He's writing for two already for you. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. So many, uh, so many reviews and suggestions for this second mm. part, you know. But well, I don't know. How do you? Yeah. Yeah. Knowing that this is here oh, you are work. today mm -hmm. and you're getting positive reviews. And if you were to cast your mind when you even started thinking about this project, how do you feel? I, um, I honestly I get terry most times when I read reviews mm -hmm. and when I receive calls from those that I don't even yeah. believe that could call me. Sometimes I, I I feel like so you sit down to watch movies too. Yeah, <laughs> the, the, yeah the calibers of people that have called that yeah, yeah. called me, you know. I um it's it's overwhelming. Trust okay, me. So let me take Even it. the way they received you at that, uh, there was an event you went to recently. Yeah. Oh, yeah, though. Yeah. yeah. The way they received you, well, I mean, I was like, uh-uh, no, yeah, this is success one. loves exactly. yeah, Something yeah. has a lot I've of... I've got invitations to dinners and others from uh -uh. eminent people like... And you're like, wait, yeah. <sighs> Yeah. Me know. Yeah. Your work ah, open doors for you. There will be days when it's necessary. Mm. There, there's something that um, I, I noticed about this and the last movie, the last big movie you did. Yeah, King, King, of of Thieves. King of Thieves. There was obviously a major improvement in the quality, mm. in the storytelling, mm. and 
it speaks to the desire for growth and mm. getting better. And I know there are many people watching that they are also producers and they are doing small, small movies. And I'd like to address them on how to, how the, the mm. sacrifice it took you to upgrade yourself each time from Jelili. Mm -hmm. You cannot compare Jelili and this. Like, you have decided that this big play, we are playing it together. Mm. How can you help other people that are in your industry who are still in that stage of doing those, like, Jelili movie and now want to do Blockbuster? What would they need to do? How would they, what do they need to think? Okay, so King of Thieves is the first Yoruba movie on a big screen, mm -hmm. you know. And it was a test run for me. I've conceived the idea of that we are going to be four King of Thieves. Mm. Oh. But I was scared because I know it's a big project. Yes. Mm. So I was scared. Am I going to make my money? You know, so mm. okay, let me do a test run with King of Thieves. So the acceptability motivated, oh, even if you do bigger than Jack Jack, you'll be fine. Mm. Mm. So that is to give every content creator, especially the indigenous content creator, the confidence that all you Push need to do is do it properly, do it well. Mm. Uncle right. was with you and blood. <laughs> fighting, fighting, fighting. Already horses carrying arm, everything. What's, can't you just do a love story? You know, you know, just people falling in love, and, you know? Well, the man of violence. I don't, I don't, well, and then you killed the love interest uh, again. The, we, we have to follow the story. That's what the story entails. Absolutely. Are you not sure that my next project is going to be a little romantic? Mm. I would love like, to watch a romantic you know, movie. So right, let's, mm. let's, fingers crossed. Let's give you comment on social media. Right. Go ahead. Akoni Taiwo is asking, what next? Apart from Jagun Jago. Ah. Okay, I think you've actually answered like that. that part yes, because he was We're not um, done yet. asking. Okay, second. Oh, one. I'm sorry. Chema's been holding. Right. Come on in, Chema from London. I'll come okay. to you, Damola. Yeah. Oh, I'm so sorry, Chema. Please, can you help us call Chema back? I do apologize. I, I left her only for a while. And Miriam, they can actually see your excitement. Ah. Oh my God, Miriam, you're so excited. I am. I am. <laughs> and then, yeah, they said, oh, so that broken leg of Latif is real. I saw the yeah. treatment process online. Yeah. You know, real. so yeah. And all of Another those script people, so writing. Excited. Comments from uh, Mr. Brown. Just so <laughs> <laughs> it might be no Brown. He said that I assume there's a part two. In that part two, <laughs> they must kill Ogundiji's secret son first. Uh -uh. They must also kill all those <laughs> illegitimate kings. Mr. Brown. <laughs> Mr. Brown. Mr. Brown. I don't like Mr. Brown it. Like Mr. Brown it. Is, <laughs> is competing with me <laughs> with who is the biggest fan of this movie. I think I'll be inviting for a script conference. Yes. <laughs> all right, let's take a few more comments. Go ahead. Are you taking comments? I wanted to go back to the. Uh, lesson in the story. Right. Um, lesson in the story in the fact that some people install leaders. Let's meet, yes. Installing leaders who are not the right people that, mm. that will lead the people mm. right. Mm. Mm. And they are backed by a warlord or someone mm. who is financing or supporting mm. them behind the scenes. That's gang. deep. Mm. Uh -huh. gang -gang. Uh -huh. who, are you, who are you buying we? Me or ban your weed. Yeah. I want to know. I was, I was, sincerely, when you look at the film, you know, there's no story that, if it's properly, you know, I mean, projected oh, and executed, you know, it would, you know, touch one or two people. Yeah. You understand? Yorubas will say, Pete Pete Toba non Popma. Only Tabani Bob. Yeah. It's a mod. If yeah. you hit the mod with a stick, mm. you know, it can splash splashes. on anyone. Yeah, everybody. It can splash on anyone. anyone. Without yeah. the intention of making it splash on, right. exactly. you know. That so that, that's how the film is. Mm. Okay. Unintended consequences. Right. Exactly. Hey, because because of the English version. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go ahead, Abba. Yeah, do you by any chance feel pressured to do better? Mm. Ah. Just, like, is the, what was the pressure like? I hate God. That's so that I've raised the bar. What hey, that's, the, that's exactly. That's right. <laughs> Sincerely, that is my nightmare. Oh. Mm. Wow. So when, when I did King of Thieves, people were like, what would you do next? King of Thieves is a banger. But I knew I was going to beat King of Thieves mm -hmm. because I conceived that we before King of Thieves. But trust me now, I don't, know. I don't know. I'm just, I'm just <laughs> working hard. It, it's, it's a motivation and it's a nightmare for me. Mm. So I pray, I, won't, I don't know. I see it with I other, I know that for Kenya Dateba too, there's a long break, yeah. and you know that break is because I cannot afford to do anything less. Exactly. And everybody is taking that time. Mm. There's another, oh, sorry, let me. Yes, so there's this question we always ask, you know, especially as celebrities who have done good work. We have young people watching you. Mm. What are the lessons that you'd like for them to learn in the course of your work? For me, I would say I see excellence. I see hard work. And you push for excellence every time. You know, we have this culture in Nigeria where we feel that the fastest, smartest way, let's mm. just do it. Yeah, but you have shown excellence. It cost you time, money, mm. effort, but see the good that has come out of it. What would you like to tell young people who are coming up 
Uh, you have actually mentioned one of it, which mm. is hard work. Yeah. You know, then I have to mention perseverance, mm. you know, because they need to be extremely patient, mm. you know, not to be too much in a hurry to make money. Mm. You know, so what, what we do is we just want to do it well. We don't know what is coming from it. We don't know mm. what the benefit is going to mm. be. So I will, I will appeal to them to right. please follow that route. Just do it properly. Good. Yeah. You know, that, that, that's... Okay, proud. let me take this call. Ayola's calling. Good morning, Ayola. Thanks for calling. Yes. Yeah, I'm, I'm saying a big congratulations to our brother, Mr. Fenia. <laughs> Thank you, brother. 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 Is everybody's brother now? <laughs> Success has many families. A happy place for the past few days. Thank you we so much. We are actually very happy for the movie. Thank yes, you. But I was a bit disappointed by one thing there. I hope you're able to give me the correct answer. Yes, go I ahead. I see the movie as a perfect opportunity for you to showcase some of your upcoming students. Why didn't you use them instead of upcoming, and, some of, um, upcoming um, actors? That girl. I said the, the character of Latif and Ebimeji uh, and Kiso, you know, Yobi Kiso, why didn't you make use of some of the Upcoming students, yeah. because this is a really perfect way to showcase new faces yeah. to the world. Okay, mm. upcoming. Okay. Yeah, you're very yeah. right. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, thank you very much for that. You're very right. But you know, like I said, um, this is more of test runs, mm. and you look at the commerciality well. of that. Yes. Yeah, so, you know. Hmm. So now that you have the confidence that whatever we do, yes. you know, people will we watch, we will sell. Yes. Uh, mm. You know, as a businessman, you also have to think of ah. Uh, what Am I going to make it? Because if I, don't, if, I, if I actually run, okay, I saw some of my properties, and if I can't buy them back, I'm going to yeah. come to your house to yeah. say, okay, I made a, a movie, I <laughs> yeah, couldn't yeah, sell, yeah, you know. Yeah. Yeah. So most of us think of the commercial ability, <laughs> yeah. but not until you are well stabilized that this is a global producer. Then, yeah. I can make my next film and not see, make you not see a single movie star there. Yeah. 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 So the name I've made as a producer is enough for me to sell my movie. Right. Mm. You well, understand? We so we're just trying to... You know, take away that the success of the movie also had to do with experience that was brought in. I mm. know we would like to see more new faces, but we should also spend some time to appreciate yeah. that experience has a, has a, you know, it has benefit. Mm. A lot of us jump in and jump out. But if you, yeah. so people who have worked somewhere in the, for, a, for a long time, they're able to see that there's a benefit for doing something for a long time and it yeah. shows in the sort of, Work that so we're going to be wrapping up very soon. That they give out eventually. Oh, are you going to do like a school tour ha. for this? I know because it's a Netflix project right now, but there's a part of that movie, the part where they went to fight at Town, mm. and Latif coming back to say that we didn't, they, these guys didn't do anything. Like, you know, we see political fights and we know that when you talk to those people that were, the hoodlums that were doing it, they don't even know why they went there. They just told us to go and fight them. Mm. You don't know the background story and you killed people. You did not understand mm. what the benefits would be. Mm. But so I'm feeling like if we're able to take this across to schools, motor parks, we're able to let people start questioning when the ogre talks and say, go and kill them, Very go true. and fight them. You start asking that, really, why do I want to do this? Yeah, exactly. I'm killing so my people. One of the reasons um, Latif punched that line at the end. Mm. Kill us, chef one, you allege it. You know, mm. they actually didn't do anything. But mm. we have to follow orders. Mm. And that's why we're saying, okay, don't let us just follow dogmatically. Mm. You know, mm. so. Okay, so we're wrapping up. What are you, so everybody's asking you what's next, what's next. So we know that uh, part two is coming. Maybe not this year, maybe next year. Maybe next year. I'm waiting for part two. I have to talk to Mr. Brown. <laughs> <laughs> but two, it's it's definitely gonna come. But um, what's the future of Yoruba Nollywood? I mean, you've obviously put um, Nollywood, and we're hoping the Oscars will call you up at some point. We know this, this kind of movie that no. this kind of movie that it we expect you Oscar. to get. So now, I mean, and I would love to see more of this cultural from different cultures in, in Nigeria, not just Yoruba. Yeah. We have so many beautiful cultural Cultures, traditions that we need movies like this to project our stories. Yeah. So what can you do to support other? Nollywood, Carnywood, all, all the woods in Nigeria <laughs> to support and do this kind of movies going forward. So the, the success of um, Jagun Jagun has birthed um, a group yes. of veterans in the industry mm. okay. you know, to continue to talk about and elaborate you know, the promotion of um, indigenous content. Fantastic. Mm. So Fantastic. you probably will be seeing next um, an also movie, Igbo movies, yes. you know. Mm. So it's, it's, it's really Important. going to work. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. Well done.
Congratulations again. We have Thank to wrap up. Thank you very much. They are waiting <laughs> for you in London. They are waiting for you in Canada. They are waiting for you in America. Once um, premiering you. everywhere. They have to throw <laughs> talk. So what are the numbers looking at now? Oh, okay. How many How millions? Many millions? <laughs> so this morning, we are coming out every day. We are sure trying, sure. How many are you watching? As of watch it was 2.1, Abby. Yes. Oh, yes, yes. The, yes. Yeah, the, the views. views. Yeah. Okay, so they do the um, the updating in yes. like beats, so we are okay. here to get it on. But that 2.1 was just three days. Mm. Yeah. Was three days. So the... we hope. Then after today, now, after this G, okay. people okay. can watch it. That is all we can take on today's show. We've been speaking with Ogundiji yes. <laughs> himself. Mr. Femi, Adebayo Salami. Have a fabulous weekend. We'll see you Monday. Bye for now. Thank you. Bye. Bye.